Even later. How does one, um, just in the middle of doing all the things you do, uh, create cars, uh, rockets, all this stuff you're doing, constantly innovating, decide to just make a flamethrower? Where do you have the time for that? Well, the flame, I wouldn't put, we didn't put a lot of time into the flamethrower. <laughs> the, this was an off-the-cuff thing. And um, so we have, I have sort, sort of like, it's sort of a sort of a hobby company called The Boring Company, uh, which started out as a joke, uh, and we decided to make it real um, and, and dig a tunnel under L.A. And then dig, then people, other people asked us to dig tunnels, and so we said yes in a few cases. <laughs> no, um, and, and, then, and then we have a merchandise section that only has one piece of merchandise at a time. And we started off with a cap. And there was only one thing on it was just boringcompany.com slash cap or hat. That's it. it and, and then we, we sold the hats, limited, limited edition. It just said the boring company. And then I'm a big fan of Spaceballs, the movie. And in Spaceballs, yogurt um, goes through the merchandising section and they have a flamethrower in the <laughs> merchandising section of Spaceballs. And he, like the kids love that one. Uh, that's the line. Uh, when he pulls out the flamethrower, it's like, we should do a flamethrower. So we... Does we, anybody tell you no? Does anybody go, Elon, um, maybe for yourself, but selling a flamethrower, the liabilities, all the people you're selling this device to, what kind of unhinged people are going to be buying a flamethrower in the first place? Do we really want to connect ourselves to all these potential arsonists? Yeah, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> terrible. Shouldn't buy one. I don't. I said, don't buy this flamethrower. Don't buy it. <laughs> don't buy it. That's what I said. But still, mm. people bought it. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to stop them. It's, you I build it, not they will stop come. I, I, I said, don't buy it. It's a bad idea. How many did you make? You. It's dangerous. It's got. It's wrong. <laughs> don't buy it. And still, people bought it. I just couldn't stop them. How many did you make? Twenty thousand. And they're all gone. In three, I think four days. <laughs> they sold out in four days. Whew. Are you going to do a, 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 another run? No. No, that's it. Yes. Oh. I said we would do 20, we did 50,000, 50,000 hats. Um, at, and and um, that was a million dollars. And I was like, okay, we'll, we'll sell something and, and for 10 million. And that was... 20,000 flamethrowers at $500 each. <laughs> <laughs> they went fast. Yeah, how, do you have the <laughs> how do you have the time to do that, though? I mean, I understand that it's not a big deal in terms of all the other things that you do, but how do you have time to do anything? I just I don't understand your time management skills. I, I mean, I didn't spend much time on, on this flamethrower. I mean, to be totally frank, it's actually just a roofing torch with an air rifle cover. It's not a real flamethrower. Which is why it says not a flamethrower. That's why we were very clear. This is not actually a flamethrower. And, and, and also we were told uh, that various countries would, would ban shipping of it, but they would, not, they would ban flamethrowers. So we very, to solve this problem for all the customs agencies, we labeled it not a flamethrower. Did that it way, work? Is it effective? I, I, I don't know. I think so. Yes. So far. Yes. Now, but you do. Because they said you cannot strip a flamethrower. 